Hello, everybody, what is up? It's me, Seb the Lev. Welcome back to another taste test video. This one is a bit different because we're not actually tasting anything from a restaurant. Today, my lovely grandma made me this, my tater. This is potatoes with kiss butter. What is you talking about? And we've got some chicken breasts. Cheese! The potat. All right, obviously I can't eat this entire thing by myself. Today we're gonna do a Q&A. You guys asked me some questions in the comment section and I'm going to answer them right now, today. All right, in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God, please bless this food. Let's start, let's, let, me, let, let, me, let, me just, let me just, let me just try this first because it's smelling too good, man. Hey, yo, y'all know how I like my potat seasoned, man. All right, this coriander is making sense. And with the garlic, I think she fried it up with some garlic. Tata, tell them in the video, but I'm going to tell you what I'm Tray, tray bone. Let's try out the chicken. <laughs> too good, too good. All right, all right. I'm not going to be a little bit. I'm not going to be a little bit. I'm not going to be a little bit. Let's start off with the Q&A. What do you do for a living? I am a student. I go to an art school in Atlanta called Savannah College of Art and Design. And I study game design and a minor in acting. Your accent is amazing. How did you learn it? I lived my entire life in Nigeria. So like that's why my accent is half Lebanese, half Nigerian and other stuff as well. Keith <laughs> Mark Masare, my guy. God bless my dad. What can I say? From Ralph Backhaus. How many years have you been in Nigeria? Well, I've been in Nigeria for 20 years. I lived there my entire life. Mm. Question from Dot Yunz. Hi, I love your accent and your content. Plus, do you work any job or get paid to eat the food like an ad? Sadly, I do not get paid to eat the food. Hopefully one day <laughs> when I get more followers and stuff. And for jobs, like I do commissions here and there. I edit videos for people and I also do 3D modeling and animation and some graphic design. Question from Messi is the king. Why are you the best TikToker? Bruh. <laughs> I ask my question that every day. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These potatoes are actually busting, man. Let me not lie. LV Joe asks, do you think about opening a podcast? I'm opening one when I get to the US. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's Goku67. Since when you live in Lebanon? I never lived in Lebanon, to be honest. I always lived in Nigeria and I just come visit Lebanon from time to time. Joking Cap 180 asks, what's your least favorite restaurant and what's your most favorite restaurant? Bruh. Guys, honestly, I'm gonna say my least favorite restaurant right now is Roadsters. Because number one, the last thing I had from there obviously almost made me vomit. Second of all, today I was about to order Roadsters because I was gonna do the chili, whatever thing. And bro, the prices are crazy. Like compared to everything else I've tried, why is the fries that's unseasoned and stale 27K? Why is that a thing? And my favorite restaurant, ah, guys, I'm gonna have to say Spice and Slice. Right now, Spice and Slice is making sense. Simplistic Ben asks, mate, how much KG have you gained? since you started doing the vids you guys are gonna be surprised but i've actually lost 4 kg ever since i started doing these videos and let me tell you why it's because i've been counting the calories guys you can eat whatever you want as long as you count them calories okay and i put out i put up the calories for you guys every time i make the videos yeah just so you guys are aware if you order the same thing you know how many calories you had i might make an in-depth video about how i did it properly is your family name sebali that's a question from sebali i don't know why you think my family name is gonna be the same as your name no <laughs> But my family name is Abu Chakra or Abu Sha'ra. Why did you come to Lebanon from Africa? My visa, my Nigerian visa expired and I had to exit the country. So, I mean, the only place I, I could come was Lebanon. And I'm just waiting until my school starts back up in America and then I'll bounce, which is in a month, by the way. Leave it in the comments if you know why we're drinking that Pepsi, bro. Nasty. Merci beaucoup, beaucoup. 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 <laughs> What's your favorite food? I don't know this, the answer to this question. I'd either say pork belly ramen noodles or there's this food my mom does, breaded fried chicken breasts with a creme fraiche, soy sauce, mushroom sauce, and fried potat. Mm. English. English is my first language, my Yabero. By the way, these are half boiled and just pan fried, just a little bit of oil, garlic and coriander and lemon yeah well guys that was it 
I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10, guys. <laughs> what can I say? Just a quick note before I end this. In a month, I'll be returning to the US, which means my TikTok is gonna change from Lebanese TikTok to American TikTok, which means you guys are never gonna see me on the FYP again. So if you guys wanna continue watching my videos, please drop a follow so that you can at least see me on the following page, which also doesn't guarantee you seeing me at all. If you really enjoy my content, I'd appreciate if you go follow me over on Instagram because I technically post everything I post here on Instagram as well. So when I go to the US, you guys can still find my stuff on Instagram and enjoy them because when I go back guys I'm starting a new podcast I'm starting a new cooking show I'm going to continue these taste tests and go all around the U.S. tasting foods from there as well and I might taste Lebanese food in the U.S. as well uh, when I go to the U.S. I also vlog every single day about my life in art school so if you guys are interested in seeing what art school is like you can go over there watch my stories reply to my stories I'll answer back we'll have a good time and au revoir mon amis